As we enter a period of unseasonable warmth, we're beginning first with the Almanac to talk about where the records are. The Hartford area record for today is 81, tomorrow 83, Saturday 81, Bridgeport today 74, tomorrow 75, Saturday 72. So while we think records are safe both today and tomorrow, our eyes are focused on Saturday. On the first alert three-day forecast, you can see why we're forecasting 80 inland, one degree shy of the Hartford area record, 75 at the shoreline, which is three degrees over the Bridgeport record. We are expecting the warming trend to peak on Saturday and then things will take a turn for uh, the cooler after that. For reference, the average high temperature this time of year is around 60 degrees. Average low is in the upper 30s, so unseasonably warm as we end off the month of October. And it's not just us, this is region wide too. Burlington, Vermont at 66, Syracuse, New York 65, 72 in Scranton, Pennsylvania, 74 in Boston right now. Across Connecticut, many of us are in the 70s to 75 degree range uh, with a couple of spots along the shoreline thanks to this onshore wind coming off the cooler water keeping spots along the 95 corridor in the upper 60s but either way it's warm for late October standards. A live look at our eye cam in New Haven showing blue skies in the Elm City. Just a gorgeous day. That west-southwest wind direction helping to pull that milder air in. And that's part of the reason why tomorrow will be a little bit warmer than today and Saturday even warmer than tomorrow. A live look at our ICAM in New London. Very similar scene here. The ferry pulling up. Things are quiet and dry. By about 2 o'clock, we keep the sunshine around. Perhaps a little bit more cloud cover by 3 or 4. But look at these temperatures. Even at the shoreline, we're in the 70s. Inland areas topping out in the uh, mid, if not upper 70s in just a few spots. Tonight, about 50 to 55 inland. Very mild for this time of year. Along the shoreline, 55 to almost 60. Partly to mostly cloudy uh, expected conditions, rather, expected tonight. So those clouds will into the start of the day tomorrow too but then again we watch the clouds erode as temperatures climb back up into the 70s first Lord future cash showing high pressure in control that is really the driving force here we're dry wind out of the southwest that keeps us away from the stationary front to our north low pressure does develop starting later on Friday and that will eventually try to swing through as we get into the weekend and successfully does so Sunday into Monday bringing cooler weather for the trick-or-treat forecast on Halloween only about 47 to 52 degrees uh, when you're out there trick-or-treating and some big model difference is here for Wednesday. The American model dry, the European model showing quite a bit of rain. So uh, we are still expecting right now to see those converge on a more similar solution over the next several days. Tammy now post-tropical losing uh, those tropical characteristics, which is good news at it as it approaches Bermuda. Highs today in the 70s on the first alert seven-day forecast. The warming trend peaking on Saturday. We will be close to record warmth by Sunday. Scattered afternoon showers. Uh, showers uh, continue on to Monday. We're a bit breezy. And look at these temperatures dropping back into the 60s, 50s for Halloween. And then we're keeping our eye on Wednesday when things will be a bit cooler. Kara?